And we want to get an update on the weather. So uh, the Cotton Bowl, Brittany, I mean, it's not an enclosed space. What's it going to no. be like? <laughs> we do have that potential for some scattered showers moving through right at concert time. I know the gates open at 530 and the event starts at 730 and we are looking at that potential for some showers in the area. Luckily, he was playing tourist yesterday because that's when we had the great weather. But today we have the clouds moving back into the area. Some scattered showers right up along the Oklahoma border. And then this front, it's still sitting over the area. And this is kind of a trickier forecast because this is a shallow cold front. So that cooler air takes a little bit longer to work in. It's not moving fast. We don't have that line of storms that we typically see with a cold front that just moves right through the area. And you know that cold air is going to settle in within a couple of of hours. So today temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler than what we were expecting yesterday. We're even waking up to an isolated shower moving south of the Buffalo Springs area. You guys might get a couple of sprinkles out of that cell there, but we are going to see a few hit or miss showers throughout our morning hours. So around noon to one o'clock, still seeing a couple of showers right around the Metroplex and then heading into the afternoon hours. We're going to see that rain becoming a bit more widespread, especially overnight into Wednesday morning. So this is likely going to impact your morning commute tomorrow. And then that rain is slow to clear out. So we'll continue to see those off and on showers all day Wednesday, even for six to seven o'clock. We'll still have some of those showers on radar Wednesday evening. Thursday morning, though, we are starting to clear out maybe an isolated shower, but the clouds, those are also going to be slow to clear out. Not looking for that to happen until late afternoon into the evening hours. But as far as rainfall goes, not looking at any flooding or flash flooding. We are going to see those totals about a half an inch up to an inch and a half throughout the area. And temperatures are noticeably cooler today. We're starting off in the mid 50s and we are going to see those temperatures back to the lower 60s with some spotty showers heading into the afternoon hours. But then we're looking at some milder temperatures. Look at this Palisade and Corsicana. Notice they're still in the upper 60s. So the front yesterday was expected to be a little bit closer to here and that's why we had those milder temperatures around Terrell and Waxahachie. But because that front will be a little bit further south, that cooler air will be sliding in. That's going to keep temperatures around D DFW in the lower 60s. Now Wednesday, we're not really going to see a whole lot of temperature changes. Starting off around 50 degrees with all the rain and clouds in the area, we'll be lucky if we see them climbing into the mid 50s. And then on Thursday, we'll start off in the upper 40s. The clouds around the area, we are still looking at temperatures only to around 57 degrees in the afternoon hour. So definitely time to break out those coats because we are definitely turning a bit more chilly, but some good news on the pollen forecast front. Still top allergens of ragweed, juniper and cedar. But look at this, the pollen count low to medium today, and then it's going to be low for tomorrow and Thursday. And then we are looking at the weekend turning really nice.